Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Jeremy, and I wanted to start a video blog about my experiences as a student um, in the program of cardiovascular technology. Um, the reason I'm writing this blog is because I just wanted something for myself and for the world to actually um, look at because I haven't seen a lot of videos that um, that follows the lives of individuals that's in this program. Um, I can find a lot on other programs but on this particular program I really don't see a lot and me being a student in the program I want to give um, future students and also um, people who are looking at um, people who are actually in the field um, and end up look at what um, what we go through as students or whatnot and I will probably be posting a video every other day or every two days on this on the website uh, on YouTube um, now the first thing I want to get into is um, this book that um, that I feel like is um, second next to the Bible um, in my world anyways um, and that's the cardiac the cardiac uh, catheterization handbook by Dr. Morton Kern He's a very good doctor, and I recommend this book to anybody who's in the field. Um, I know when I was observing at Southern Hills Medical Center, um, and I was talking to um, one of the nurses up there, and before I even got into the program, they recommended this book. It's, this is a newer version. Um, the older version is somewhere um, probably in the attic or whatnot, but... Um, what I and the next thing I was wanted to uh, get into was one of the hardest classes that I've taken thus far, which I came out of the class with a B, but um, um, that was hemodynamic, um, hemodynamic monitoring for invasive and non-invasive clinical application. This class was probably the most difficult class that I've ever taken in my entire existence. Um, tr trust me, it was. Um, and I really am glad that I passed that class, and I just passed it like last week, um, literally last week, um, and I'm already in a new class. The class that we're in now is invasive procedures or whatnot. As you can see, the program does move right along, so it's not a, um, we go, it's quarterly, so... Um, we have a different class every month so um, you have to really be a type of person um, at this particular school to um, pick up real quick and do what you gotta do um, the next uh, thing I want to get into was West Tide um, I'm not sure if a lot of you are familiar with this particular person but he's one of the um, leading people for the test the RCIS um, and he actually has a website, westtide.com, that goes through and helps you. That um, you can order actually uh, CDs, you can order books for him if you're studying for the RCIS, which I'm um, studying for. Um, well, I guess I can take that because I haven't started studying exactly yet, but I'm actually coming up with a. I'm trying to organize my time right now so I can start. I have four more months before clinicals and while in. Um, I wanted to take the time now to actually get my time organized so I can start studying for it. Um, the RCIS um, is basically stands for Registered Cardiovascular, Cardiovascular Invasive Specialist. Um, and there's an exam that goes along with it to make sure you're competent in what you're doing. So he gives you a comprehensive review of the exam considering he does sit on the exam board and again his website is westtide.com and I want to and as I said before I want to create this video blog because I don't see a lot of um, videos about the particular program that I'm in so I wanted to go ahead and um, fill some of you people in about what it takes to actually go through this program now keep in mind the program is not easy it's a very competitive program and um, a lot of people um, do get into the program and I've seen a lot of people drop from the program because of the intenseness that it has and some people just aren't prepared to go 
um, to do what they have to do to finish the program. But um, I'm so far I'm working on my second degree, and hopefully within a few months or I will have my um, second degree um, cons involved in this. So West Tide um, again. He has really like made this program a little bit easier. Um, he's made this a little bit easier to digest because he actually breaks it up. If you're not really understanding something, I would recommend that you do get his CDs and his books because they go in depth. They gives you it gives you a, it has over three thousand questions in um, some of his books and it gives you the definition and answer to each and every one of the questions. He breaks it down to where the simplest person can actually get this stuff. So uh, kudos to you West High for doing that for us. Um, another thing is, I was gonna let y'all know what the homework is, um, what it's like to, um, what the week is. I go to class Monday through Friday um, from 1.30 to 5.30. Uh, but anyways, now, the homework that we had this week was, it's not that really, it's not, not too much or whatnot. It's a couple, of, it's a couple of pages, but more than a couple, but anyways, it's just an outline of, you know, the books that we have to read or whatnot, and, and that's pretty much nothing. I can just type that up and submit that, but, um, the next thing I wanted to talk about was, the clinicals um so in four months there in four months there the clinical sites will be um i guess ready or whatnot and we'll be going to clinicals hopefully i'll get a, a tremendous amount of um knowledge um from that now as far as uh, my next class is pharmacology so if you guys know or have taken pharmacology could you let me in on a couple of secrets or let me know what to expect or whatnot um i know it probably depends on the teacher and the the lessons that they teach or whatnot or how they exactly teach a class which of course we do have a great teacher and i know of the teacher who's going to be teaching that and she's a really good teacher so i probably don't have anything to fear hopefully or whatnot but today pretty much was like um, just a normal day we were in lab and we pretty much um, just it was a, a mock lab so we did scrubbing uh, monitoring circulating that was pretty much what we did um, definitely went over some catheters that were using or whatnot I think it was a right heart left heart um, no it was just a right heart um, today that we did or whatnot and that was pretty much it. Um, we really didn't find anything. Um, really, um, the patient didn't really have anything for us to find or whatnot. No blockage in his heart or nothing like that. But um, back to the subject. Um, that was pretty much our whole day. We were just um, doing mock scrubbing and mock um, monitoring and mock um circulating or whatnot and setting up this table or whatnot our sterile table or whatnot um next week i'll probably give you a little bit more because um we'll be doing a lot more next week or whatnot so i want to just fill y'all in on that and if y'all have any comments or questions feel free to email me uh, my email is um at the bottom of the page and if you feel like you want to leave a comment, go ahead, um, leave a comment on my page. Um, that's pretty much it that I have for tonight or whatnot. I'm going to go ahead and hit up this West Tide CD and probably take a little hour just to uh, go through that and read a couple of those chapters on that CD. And that's pretty much it. Um, as I said, if you got a question or comment, just leave it below. But anyways, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.